archaeologists actually divide the woodland period into th three periods, the early, uh, the middle, and the late. Um, the early woodland period is the, the time that we associate with the Adena people. Um, the middle woodland uh, is both Adena and Hopewell. The woodland Indians live in what archaeologists call hamlets. So this is an, a settlement of one or maybe two or three houses. Uh, each of those housed probably a nuclear family. The woodland period saw the rise of what's called the Eastern Agricultural Concept, which is actually one of only 10 original native foodways in the entire world. The woodland people uh, were more gardeners than agriculturalists. The primary component of the Eastern Agricultural Complex are weedy plants that produced huge amounts of seeds that provided great nutrition. The woodland people ate a very well-rounded and pretty modern diet that might separate them as the healthiest eaters in all of prehistory. The main uh, weapon for hunting was uh, an atlatl, which is a stick uh, about this long with a hook on the end of it that was used to throw spears. And this serves as a lever uh, that gives you a lot more force behind your throw. So your spear goes farther with more force uh, and is more likely to bring down prey. Uh, with an atlatl, you need to hunt in groups. Uh, you need to be able to, to uh, ambush deer and uh, drive them. Uh, the bow and arrow was developed in the late woodland around AD 800. When you're using a bow and arrow, you can hunt with stealth. Uh, so it really changes the way you can, can hunt, it makes it easier for smaller groups of people to, to take down large prey. We know uh, from textiles that we've recovered from caves and from the mounds themselves that the Adena people and the, and the Hopewell people, and I'm sure the later woodland folks, had woven fabric. So the very early pottery from the woodland period is really the very earliest pottery from uh, this part of North America. The pottery that they, they first developed in the early woodland was very thick and fragile pottery. Um, it would fall apart probably pretty, pretty easily. What they did though with pottery was they used it for storage and then eventually they're starting to use it for cooking. Some of the pottery had plain surfaces on it. Some of it had what we would call fabric impressed exteriors. And we do know that as time went by, the pottery did become thinner and more finely made. The population centers for the Woodland Indians in Kentucky were in northern Kentucky and in the, the bluegrass, largely. Uh, there are also uh, very well-known woodland sites in the, in the eastern mountains, uh, but those weren't areas where there were larger populations. These were mound-building peoples that had trade networks that they set up, so they were um, exchanging goods and ideas with people from the northern parts of North America all the way down to the southeastern parts of North America. The woodland people are best known for building earthworks across Kentucky and Ohio that left a visible mark on the landscape that we can still see today. An earthwork, we also call them embankments. These folks would have been excavating ditches and then throwing the soil out to create an embankment. The earth, the purpose of the earthworks was probably to demarcate sacred areas and there were probably sacred ceremonies that took place within those earthworks. Through archaeological excavations we find very few artifacts inside these earthworks so we know that the Adena and the Hopewell people that built these earthworks were keeping those spaces clean. They started developing a mortuary ceremonialism, which means rituals related to how they buried and treated their dead. So one thing the Woodland in Indians were known for is their mounds. Uh, and people know these as burial mounds. These are ceremonial structures. So these locations where they built the mounds, uh, before they were mounds, they were uh, a ceremonial site. Sometimes we find things that look like uh, buildings or some sort of enclosure. Uh, for a ceremony. And then the mounds are built over the top of them. Every mound is different. Some mounds uh, have cremations in them. Some have burials that were placed 
on the surface of the ground and then covered over. Uh, some of them have burials that were redeposited from other places. A mound wasn't built all at one time. Most mounds have many burials in them, and each burial was added over time, and as burials were added, the mound grew. These were monuments that were placed on the landscape that were visible to many, many generations of Native Americans. One example, the Miamisburg Mound, was actually constructed on a 100-foot-high ridge top that overlooks the entire Miami Valley and stands over 60 feet tall. Uh, it's a conical mound. Uh, you see a little bit of difference in how mounds are constructed. Some of them look like a cone. Some of them are a little bit more rounded. The Miamisburg Mound is a classical conical mound. Serpent Mound is a large effigy mound located east of Cincinnati and it's built on a prominence overlooking a stream, like, you know, much like a lot of the Adena mounds are. We can definitively say that the site of Serpent Mound was important to woodland people because they were already building burial mounds there and they were coming back to it. Who actually built the serpent on the site is still up for debate. Uh, it's important to remember, though, that these are cemeteries. Uh, there are people's ancestors in them. Uh, it's very, very disrespectful to uh, to do things at a mound that you wouldn't do at a cemetery. The burial mounds, the Adena burial mounds that dot our landscape today, these are monuments to the dead that people built thousands of years ago. And those monuments were meant to last. Just like a modern day cemetery, it's a venerated area and it is not to be disturbed. These are sacred places and there are laws that protect them just as we respect our grandmothers and our grandfathers and our family, we should show the same respect to the Native Americans that place their dead in these burial mounds.